You know what I'm saying? Now we got the water covering the planet. And a light comes through. It starts to create heat. The water starts to evacuate. It starts to lift up. Now we begin to start a new cycle of life. You understand? But the plant was here. And the water was here. And the creatures of the deep was already here. Because this Bible is going to talk about great whales. And whales have legs and hips. And whales were walking before they were in the water. And this Bible is going to tell us about gold. And good gold. And it takes millions and millions and millions and millions of years for gold to germinate. And, and when God said the gold is good gold, as opposed to bad gold, now we're going to another level. We're going to men interfering with only men can make bad gold. That's right. By mixing chemicals in it. Right. We're talking about whole civilization where men already have gold. Yes, you want to know who they are? Read the Sumerian tablets. Read about the Sumerians. Read about Inlil and Inki. And don't let them tell you that myth, because they've been proven to find Osiris of ancient Egypt was a myth. Then they found his tomb. Right. And then they realized Osiris, Horus, Isis were real people. Mm -hmm. Icky, Inlil, Anu, uh, Murdoch, Damuzi, Tamuzi, Ishtar, Shemesh, all of them were real people. Go look up the Inu by Elish if you are not afraid to know the truth. Go read the Atra Hasis if you are not afraid to know the truth. You want to read the tablets of that kingdom we spoke about in Jeremiah that existed, you'll find a being called Anunnaki who came to this earth. We call them in Genesis chapter 6, Nephilim. When they came and mixed with demons, we call them Agakites, long-necked people. It's in the Bible. Anu is in the Bible under the name Kala in Genesis 10. Ishtar is in there as asterisks. And Esther gets her name from Akris or her destiny Hebrew. Somebody is lying to you. They don't want you to know your language. They don't want you to know the name of your God. They don't want you to know the real name of Christ. They don't want you to call on as Yeshua HaMashiach. Bar David. They don't want you saying that. They don't want you keeping the covenants of God. They don't want you making the day. They don't want you to say, the Lord thy God is one God. They don't want to hear you say, Yahweh. Elohim, Adonai, or Yahweh, Adonai. They don't want that in Deuteronomy. But Jesus said it. If you say it in his language, you get another call. You're making contact with the beings you're calling on. They can keep you saying God, and Jesus, and Christian, and all these weird words introduced by Paul, and the Gentiles will always be cut off. You will always be the slave. You will always be in subjection. They just got around to admitting the Canaanites are not black. The curse of Ham. All these years, they have black people thinking it was all right for us to be in slavery because it says in Genesis 9 26, then a servant of servant said to be under the brother, then we'd be saved and say, Y'all are the Canaanites. Now they find out, now they admit in the Bible that black Negroes are not the Canaanites. Now they walk in there. And that they are really our servants. Then you go back to history, you find out. Now if y'all say, here's something funny for you. If y'all say the Israelites were white or Jews were white and it was the Egyptian bondage, then they were servants of the blacks. Now, or what are you going to mention? The Israelites are black and the Egyptian are black. It's in the Bible. You go to Genesis 10 and read the family and trace out and go out and start finding where those lands are. It's all in Sudan. Yeah. All of Africa was called Sudan. Yeah. Arabia was a part of it. No such thing as those Arabs. Who was out there in those Arabs? Those are Turkish. Those are barbarians. There's a war going on between the Israelis and the Arabs in Palestine. There's a war going on between Russians and Polish and, and Turkish and of the Byzantines. Those are not the real people. I warn you, the devil's power is in his ability to lust you, to lie to you, and kill you if you don't obey. And that's what Jesus said. You are of your father's devil. The lust of your father, you will do. He was a liar and a killer. And that's how they really terrorize you. They scare black people. Make you think they put you in jail. Every time you organize an organization, they call you a cult. Because you're trying to think to yourself, oh, the lock is a cult. But we don't know what the word lock in means. That guy must be a suicide cop. All that did was scare black people away from the truth. So they know when we get back in one accord under Christ with his real name. Right. And pick up our cross, which is the um, the real symbol. Right. And march with it in front of us, he can't fight us no more. Right. And if he can't fight us no more, he starts to fade away. Right. But he has recessive genes. Right. He'll disappear and we'll go on. 
And he knows that in ever, you know, Christ, as they call him, has come for us. Now, I'm forced to use Jesus. I'm forced to use Christ. I'm forced to use church. Because if I don't, you're going to lie and tell people, I don't believe in the same Jesus you do. And I don't believe in the same, I'm not a good Christian. You're going to call me some cult leader. So I, now I'm, I'm saying the name you want. Now what's the excuse? That's right. Now I come to the truth. Come to Holy Seed Baptist Church. Right. Black man and black woman. And find out who you really are. Right. And get the truth. Right. And sit down and remember the Hebrew. And learn the Bible in Hebrew. And learn the scriptures in the Syretic. And the Galilean tongue that Jesus spoke. So you can learn the real name and make real contact. That's what they are found with now. But the devils are running crazy killing themselves. Right. We ain't a part of it. Right. They got nothing against us. They know we are also being persecuted. And right. they think they are one of them all. Right. And the Weaver and what's that other one? Rodney King. King. That's white persecution. Profiling. Hating God people. But told us, you will be hated of all nations for my sake. My name is sake. And we've got to bring the real name of Jesus to here. Yeah. As long as I use the Paul name of Jesus, no like the Paul name of Christian, I'm all right. Boy, you look on up. Uh, TBN, all the bad ministers up there, and the whites are looking at us while they're preaching. As long as they say, Jesus, I love you, they go. Behind them is a steady glass window of a white Jesus with a shoulder man in hand. And all they know that that's what Jesus he preaches about, he's okay. But the moment he steps up and says, no, 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 that's Paul's Jesus. That's Mark Jesus. He has shoulder right here. He's ashamed. That's not him. There's another one in the Bible, the real Jesus, with an afro. Sheep's hair. That's him. Then we're caught. Then we're bad. They don't want me on TV yet talking.
And Jesus passed that up in St. John, what is it? 1034. Jesus answered them, what he said? Is it not written in your law? I say, ye are not. And I put the word, the Greek word, thetos here, which would be equivalent to Elohim. You know how you know that? Because he's going to say what? And all you are, it's not written in your law. I said, ye are not. Is it not written in your law? What law? Where else is it written except in Psalms? Because Psalms are not the law. Yeah. He was telling them people that he took in his own black brothers of Jews. And he called them the synagogues of Satan because they allowed the Romans to rule their soul. And the Greeks to rule their soul. He said, I know the black people don't call yourself Jew and not. Your body is the temple of Satan. He said, that's all right. I'll make them bow down. I'll make them bow down just to show you I love you. He told you, you are the real Jew. So that, that's what Christ said. And that's what's in the Psalms. Then we are the people of him. Then who is Adam? Come on, black man, wake up out there. Look up the word Adam you found. You'll find the word Adam and Eden is the same word. It's red. We don't blush red. We're not wearing our jeans and not tampered with. We're black as night. I am black but comely. Over the door like this. My skin is black as the ground. These are Bible quotes. When you look at them, you're looking at a red man, a blush man, a man with rosy cheeks. Rhodesia, I think they call it. <laughs> we created them in our image, in after our life. We are men. They are a kind of man. Mankind. And that's why when they supposedly stepped on the moon, which they didn't back then, the statement they said is a giant leap. For mankind, because gorillas leap. A giant leap for mankind. A small step for man. They didn't have us in they didn't have us in parts. They had nothing to do with us, no meters of will. They were making it clear, that's mankind. When you say mankind, you're looking at a kind of man. Man in the image of man. Man in the likeness of man. But he's evil. And it made us have to repent to Yahweh, our God, and Elohim. He repented us to our heart that we had made his name. So we asked Yahweh to wipe them out with a flood. Right? They said, well, there's no history of a flood any place else in the world except Egypt and over in the Middle East. Because he wasn't trying to wipe out everybody on the planet. The Canaanite was only in one area. He was drowning in that whole area. <laughs> if that was the whole world then to them. But the sea of the devil traveled over in Canaan. And again, we're confronted with it. Come up again with Jesus. Curse the cat. Right? They call him in the Bible the youngest son. If you look at Genesis chapter 9, verse 24, it says, And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done unto him. The trick is that Ham is not Noah's youngest son. Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. Ham is in the middle of the trip that son's born. He's not the youngest son, Jephthah would be. And Jephthah went with Shem to cover Noah's in But the game is two things. First of all, the word nakedness in there means shameful nakedness, not just nudity. It's an abominational nakedness. And this one here is the word katun. Katun is the word they use in there for youngest. And when you look up the word katun, youngest is youngest son, it doesn't mean young age. It means lesser in knowledge. Lesser in prominence. Lesser in knowledge. Lesser in importance. It's not the same word. And you know why? Because when you go on and you read in the Bible, in that same section, read. let's see what happens. Let's see if that's clear. So I heard the Reverend Price make this mistake on television. Because he don't know Hebrew. Alright, listen. This is 925. First be canon. The word canon means low land. The person who came out of the mountain. Their tribes are Edomites who became Paulites who are on Mount Seir. Seir means to be covered with fur or hairy all over like a big foot. And the word Paulite comes from the word Paul, which means cave. Paulites means cave dwellers. 
That's another word. Edom is another name for the Caucasian. Edom and Adam. Adam means Jay also. It has the same root. Alif Dam Mim or Dalit Mim in Hebrew. Okay, Mim. With me? Yeah. Verse 26. And he said, Bless be what? The Lord God of Shem. So now, Shem is blessed. Alright. With me? Yeah. And then what does it follow? And Yahweh shall be his servant. Verse 27. And God shall be our servant. He blessed Shem. Right. He enlarged Jacob. And what? And he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. And, and, and he shall be his servant. So in both cases, Canaan is put in subjection. He made lesser than how to do. Notice Ham is not mentioned. He don't mention giving Ham a lesson, multiplying him, or anything. Because Ham now has been reduced to the lesser of the brothers. And that's what it meant by his youngest, not his youngest. The Hebrew word is Kabul. And the lesser. Let's read it another way. Now, still there? Yeah. Uh, it says, And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his lesser than son, right, had done unto him. And he said, Curse be that son's son. But the sin of the father called upon the son. He couldn't put a curse on the hand who was already born, right? Because when God put the curse on you, this is nor doing it. God could have stepped in. And like he did to our Moses sister, Mariam, put a curse on herself and turned her leprous white. She was a black woman, he cursed her because she was mad because Moses was going to marry a black woman called a Cushite. And God got mad at her and said, you are interfering with progressive genes? Let me show you what you're doing, Mariam. And boom, number 12, 10. Right? And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Mariam became a leprous as white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Mariam and beheld, she was a leper. So leprosy is to become white as snow. Right? Why though? Why? Go up further. Let's find out why. 12.1. And Mariam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Cushite woman. The word Cush means black skin. Now Moses was black was that Aaron was black, Miriam was black. But Moses, um, Aaron, and Miriam were mixed like you Negroes here. He had some white blood in them because this seed had got mixed. Right. The biblical product, they were on Solomon's side. Their blood is mixed. So here they are, looking like American Negroes, and they're looking at black African women, and they see all this other. Mm -hmm. The same way Negroes in America have been trained to look for red bone women, for light skinned guys with curly hair. Light eye, oh, you got pretty light eye. Oh, you got that nice thin hair like your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Daddy was a slave master. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they went out and created all kinds of chemicals so you can look like a slave master. Contact so you can look like a slave master. You can put on blue contact now, you be black and nice. Walk out blue contacts. They make a way. Mania. Or Manuel. Moses and Aaron's sister was like a regular Negro. The blood had a picture of Egyptian, the Egyptian had a picture of the Phoenician, and the Canaanites would have made them. And now they look like they look like one of us here. And so when they looked over and saw her, she was black. Black, much comely, oh you daughter. She looked like an African. Big lips, black, beautiful woman. By African standards. But now by American standards, where we've been taught to love the image of beast, right? They saw her for this. <laughs> Let's read. What do they do? Numbers chapter 12, verse 1. says, Marion and Aaron. You know Aaron was that smart one. Aaron got anybody in trouble with the golden gap. Right? Spent against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman. You look it up, you get Cushite. You look Cushite, you get black. Right? Who, what? He had married. He was already married. So, and they were mad. He didn't invite them to the wedding. But he knew they got it. For he had married and Look on, click on Ethiopia. He had married a cushy or what? Put the word in, cush. He had married a black woman. That's what the word cush means. And they said, 
as the Yahweh. Not Elohim. No. But you know why they couldn't say the Elohim? You stay there. Huh? Go to Exodus chapter 7. I'm going to tell you why they couldn't talk to Moses about the Elohim. 7 1, that's right. You smile. Put a smile on your face for the whole human race. <laughs> you with me? Yeah. It says in Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, and this is the Yahweh. What is he going to do? I have made you a God, Moses, for the Pharaoh. Now, Yahweh's create gods. Yahweh's create Elohim. It says it. Read it again right there in the Bible. The word of God. Come on. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God.
know you didn't the wrong thing. And they come and like to look like they occupied a whole door when you kid. And you get out of there. You can see the belt dangling on one side of the that switch thing at the door. You know what you usually do? You ever be saying? You start crying. Speaking you start crying ahead of time, baby still get let go. They say, no, you don't. And that beat too many words. Tell me this. Tell me, okay, Mrs. Maddie, you and my 
好，不不明的，我给你骂。
CD, the genealogy, the blood of Christ. Yep. That's your own salvation. And boy, do they know it. They're always trying to get an opportunity. Get right. our blood. Get our genes, you hear it? <laughs> oh, yeah, get our genes. Get our genes. I tell you. Where we at? Verse 11. Numbers chapter 12, verse 11, where it tells you that being turned to a leprous is a sin. Being turned to a leprous white is a sin. And Aaron said unto Moses, At last, Adonai, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Now you just got to look at verse chapter 12 of Numbers 12, and it says, Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed, caucus Asian, coxus Asian, deteriorating flesh, coxus, right? Abracadabra. <laughs> you follow? It says, let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. I mean, they come out already. The Bible tells you, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 4, And as for thy nativity, in the days thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supply thee, neither was thou washed in water to suckle thee, thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled. You know what they're talking about at all? Because dogs, navel disconnects themselves. And they lick there. They're talking about the Amorites. Frightening, isn't it? Now go back and look up the word seer and see what seer and see it means hairy or shaggy in a Bible dictionary. Mm. Or hairy creature with fur on his body. Yeah. Edomites. Edom, red. Adam, same root. The Hindu ones are called Adam and the, uh, what do you call it? Asiatics who Esau got there called Edom. All together they make up one. That's why they call Herod who hated Jesus so much. Herod the Edomite. Mm. Because he hated Jesus because Jesus was a nigga the same way they hate me because I'm a nigga. If I was a white preacher, preacher white supremacy, they subtly hide me like they do the KKK, but they keep me around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the moment you start teaching black consciousness, they want you out the way. Uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 6. Six yes. And I saw a woman <coughs> walking <coughs> with the blood of the saints. Saint. Saint. She's a howl. Mm -hmm. She's a Canaanite. Right? Mm -hmm. And with the blood of the martyrs of, of Jesus. Bread. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. John looked at the woman, he looked at the pornography on television, he looked at the lust of the woman, he looked at the seduction of the woman, he looked at the holotry, and John, son of Zebedee, Jesus' beloved, wondered. He looked at amazing. And guess what happened? The angel standing there said to him, What? Where did your mind just go, John? Did you ponder the Lord there laying up with that devil? Did you ponder surrendering yourself to that holler and the lust? Did you think about it? Beat it. Beat it again. And then he said unto me, Wherefore didn't thou marvel? And I did what? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her. Like the brown of the earth. Adam, that's the one that looks like a kingdom. 
That's the one that they're talking about. He created them from us. But, but when you produce your baby, right? And you're a black couple, the baby comes out with straight hair. As the genes developing and stronger for the progressive gene, the hair is now. Right. But if you have so when we produce as human beings the atoms for the Hindu race, black people, their genes came out progressive and they went back. And that's why they look like they get, they look like white people. They got their dark skin, but they got straight hair, like Caucasian. That's who they are. And that's your atoms. We created them. They just do evil and change. They worship monkey, they worship cow, they worship. Elephant, they hang themselves up, they stick themselves up, they stare at the sun, they worship snake, they worship angel. They all they do evil continuously. They have come such a as all days gone. That is him. That's his dog, Harry. All right. It says, verse 13. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore did thou the angel said unto me, Wherefore did thou marvel? And that's why they've been messing with the walk-ins. 
telling all these other Christians out there that's why they mess with the walking. But the devil's ready to study the books when you get. And they know what they're coming to teach you. They know how it's going to liberate you. Now it's going to change your life. Yep. And when your life changes, power comes on your part. Wealth yeah. comes to you. Success yeah. comes to you. You start doing better. You start feeling better. Not only about yourself, but about the people around you. You start appreciating other people. You start looking at black people differently. Instead of looking at anybody sneaking and skimming, you start realizing these are all God's children. All they got to do is know it. Right. And their whole lives will change and they'll begin to show it. Right. That's an amen.